Hey, hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, and welcome to another one of my Fortnite videos. I'm going to do some down-to-earth testing about elemental husks and the amount of damage they do on walls in this video. And that is because I was playing a power level 100 mission with another player the other day. We were just two and we were getting nature element husks and we had built down an iron base. We were like talking about whether or not we should trash the base and build one out of stone instead and in this video here I tried to uh, like pick up on that to try to find out what is the impact of elemental husk damage compared to the different materials that we have. Is it worth it to build a wood base if you are up against water element husks for instance. So first one here coming towards me and I have no idea if I can actually make this. I could make it work. I have it trapped down there. Woo! So we have a normal husk in a wood wall here. Let's see the amount of damage. 41 to 17, okay. All right, not bad at all. So I can actually see the steady amount of damage it is dealing here. Next one coming up here, trying to lure in. Yes, down into a stone base. Okay, let's see how much damage we are getting on the stone walls. It's probably going to be the same amount of damage. I don't think the stone walls have damage reduction on them as such. 21 down to 96 to 71. Uh oh, we have a little like peaky window. We can look in through there. Can I see it? No, I can't see any husk in there. Well, that's a shame. But now I have at least the base damage from a normal husk on the wall here for comparison. This is like a small prison. Oh, I like this. <laughs> I have I have my pet in there dealing damage to the stone wall. This is actually... <laughs> hey, I can see you. Hello, little husky. Are you trying to come out to me? And now it is time, of course, just to check up if the stone... No, not stone. Metal one is ready and it is. So I'm just going to try to lure it up, run over here and see if I can make it fall down into my small pet prison. Come out. Dude. I'm right here. Hello. Oi. No? Oh, well, let's see if we can lure it out this way then. And I need to run really, really fast because if it hits me, it's going to die because I have the shield up. And there we have it. Down into the prison with you. With you. All right, let's see. 60 to 36 to 11. So a steady amount of damage from a normal husk on each and every one of these walls here. No, like, major difference. The iron just has more hit points than the stone, and the stone more than the wood. So, pretty much as it should be, a normal husk is going to spend, like, a lot longer time taking down an iron wall than a stone wall, than a wooden wall. So, come out here, I'm gonna set you free. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, time to repair these. Alright, so I managed to find one of these nature husks here and no way they and company. Okay, I need to for the like sake of testing I need to have only one because I want to be able to look back at this and check out the data values so that I can geek a little bit more about it. It's I don't want them to damage my walls as they die. So let's just oh and yeah no away. Oh man, this is crazy. Okay, so let's heal it up and see the nature husk 81 56 3106. So this here is nature damage against a wooden wall. For comparison, the amount of time it's going to take. And can we peek in? No, but we can run, forest, run, and let's go towards the iron. And this here is what I was up against. Nature against iron. So nature husks should deal additional damage to iron walls. But how much? That is what I want to find out here. So we have it trapped. 63, 14, 60, wow, so a massive change in the amount of damage the nature husk does on the iron wall. And it may not seem like much, but if you're having something dealing more damage than a small normal husk, that is going to have a huge impact on your base for sure. And let's just see if we can drop it down there into, oh, I have a damaged wall, so, uh, yeah, well, let's see if we can make it hit over here, 19, 94. 69 44 all right so dealing not like it doesn't appear that we have an actual damage reduction on opposing materials it just appears like it deals more damage to iron walls so it's not like we're going to be getting a benefit from building another wall type we're just going to be penalized for building iron against 
the nature element husks. So, I mean, I was pretty curious about whether or not we would be getting as like a damage reduction on the opposing element. Or oh, yeah. Anyway, so fire one here down into. Boom! There we have it. It's gonna burn this wood. So hopefully, I'm going to see here that we're going to be dealing additional. Well, taking additional damage, 3384. So once again here we can see a multiplier in regards to the amount of damage that is being dealt by a fire husk onto the wooden wall. So this here is like the opposing element. If you have fire elements coming towards you, you do not want to be building wood. But you generally don't want to be building wood anyway because it's the weakest material. Let's put it down here. Yeah, there you go. In there with you in my favorite prison where... I'm gonna be getting hopefully again a little window where I can peek into it 71 46 21 so yeah this is like the base damage these normal husks are dealing towards walls and do I need to repair anything no just making it ready for the next batch I'm like partially high partially depressed about this test here because I was expecting to see the husks deal less damage to their like worst element and more damage to the one that they are opposing but no we're not getting any of that into metal here just for the sake of testing 11 86 61 so basic stuff with the fire as well they are dealing more damage to fire stru not fire structures dealing more damage to wood structures so it is time to set you free little husky pain and misery is over boom oh yeah so, <laughs> it took a while for me to catch this one here, a water element husk. We're going to be dropping it down here into our stone prison to see the amount of damage it's going to be dealing there. We have 45, 97, 48, 99, so yeah. Alright, pretty much like done with my, with my testing here. Confirming that husks are dealing like around twice as much damage to structures made out of the opposing element as other structures. So if you're going to be getting something such as a nature wave of husks, hello husky, you may want to actually build with stone instead of iron because you're going to be taking twice as much damage. But I don't really feel like it is a good idea to be building with wood like at all because even if you are going to be having an element such as water here, it still deals at least 24-25 damage to a wood structure. It has 2,000 health. So do you want to have walls that are so much weaker than iron and stone just because some of the husks are going to be dealing less damage to it? I don't really feel so. I can see like the idea in using stone if you have dedicated nature damage incoming because you're going to have like this damage increase on the iron but besides that yeah I think uh, I think you're really going to want to stick to iron and stone in the end game regardless of the element that is coming that is like what I'm getting out of this like down-to-earth testing of it checking out what is a normal husk dealing damage wise towards any kind of material in the game so guys down-to-earth testing elemental husks versus materials i hope you enjoyed and that this is something you can use in your base building moving forward as always guys thank you very much and very much for watching